Where are you from? I'm originally from Egypt, from Cairo. Yeah. But I live in Orlando, Florida now. Yes. Why did you come here? Why travel? Um, because I've seen so many doctors uh, to see if somebody can help me, and yeah. no one did. And it was, I was getting really desperate about it. So yeah. when I saw you guys online and saw some videos, I was like, I'll, I'll definitely give it a chance, you know. So what was the problem? What, what was going on? It's mainly my joints. My jaw joints always hurt constantly. Yeah. Usually by the second half of the day, I get bad headaches that last till I go to bed, unless mm -hmm. I, you know, take like three, four pills, painkiller, um, and it still hurts. And it's every day. Yeah. It's a constant pain. How long has it been going on? Probably 10 years, if not more. And you saw a bunch of different dentists and a bunch of world surgeons, orthodontists, chiropractors, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. And, and acupuncture. Did anyone even tell you what was wrong? Did not, you even get a diagnosis? Any, no. Yeah. I mean, everyone did said something, but they were all different. Well, they're offering the treatment, right? Yeah. One wanted to do surgery. A surgeon wanted to do surgery. Yeah. Expand the jaw, which, and then he said he doesn't know if that would help the joint. So it's like, what's right. the point? Uh, Orthodontist said he will do braces and he fixes it looks, but he also said, I don't know if that's going to help TMJ, and it didn't. Well, TMJ is just anatomy, right? So they didn't really even give you a diagnosis. They didn't say like, hey, this is what's wrong. And if we do this, this is going to improve. Correct. Because no. of that, right? That's correct. No, they didn't yeah. even get into that at all. He yeah. just did, you know, the normal braces where you can fix the, how the teeth look. Mm -hmm. And he was like, maybe it would help, maybe not. Okay. All right. So, so describe a day. What was a day like? I mean, I get up in the morning, first of all, and it's, it's already painful. Mm -hmm. from, just from sleeping. I in think both joints? Both joints. Yeah. yeah. What about chewing and eating and drinking? That's when it starts to get even worse. You know, by the time you're eating your lunch yeah. and you start chewing, some, especially if you're eating like a steak or something crunchy, that's when it really flares up and, and it gets a lot worse. Right. So when you came here, we ran you through the diagnostic screening, right? Mm -hmm. We call it neural occlusion screening, the NOS. And you saw the MRI, the CT, all the e electromyography stuff, the muscle stuff, the kinesiology stuff the jaw tracking, the T-scan data, right, the bite stuff, all that stuff, what did that do for you? Did it make sense as we walked you through it all? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. did it make sense that we, like, first we had to vet your joints, the TMJs themselves, before we could even tell you that the bite would be a proper treatment, right? Correct. And yeah. we had to make sure the joints were stable mm -hmm. and adapted. They're a little bit tore up, but they're not that bad. Yeah. So because both joints were in decent shape, we were able to alter the bite expecting it to remain that way mm -hmm. and all we how long did it take us to alter your bite 20 minutes probably like if so using the yeah. computers right yeah to guide our way it was super easy mm -hmm. so what so that was yesterday so what changed after we did that i mean the bite feels totally different like for the first time in years i can feel the back of my teeth touching yeah and it's like when you close your you, know, you call it the resting position or something. When I close my teeth, everything just feels in place now. Like like a good home, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like like you said. It just sits at home. Yeah. It never was. Yeah, but we didn't really alter your normal bite. We altered the sideways movements of your bite. That's what we do when we're looking at the computer data. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the bite stuff, force and time, and we're looking at what the muscles are doing simultaneously. Right. So we're able to see changes in the muscle activity based on altering the what are called excursive movements of the bite. Yep. But we never touch that damn bite till we vet the joints. And you were Piper 3A on both sides, which is not that bad. Mm -hmm. Torn lateral pull, remember that? Yeah. And no effusion, no edema. You know, you didn't have a osteochondral growth defect. You didn't have any vascular necrosis, all these bad things that can happen to joints. You had none of them, other than a little bit of a tear on both sides of the cartilage. Yep. Right? Yep. So now, it's been a day. What was last night like? And what was this morning like? I mean, this morning felt a lot better than before. Um, I don't know what's going on yet, but I feel like the tension is a lot less. Yeah. So I got up this morning uh, not feeling that much pain like what's I your, usually do. What's your face feel like? It just relaxed more for sure. Because, yeah. I mean, in the usual... That was instantaneous, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like as soon as we did the bite thing yesterday, mm -hmm. I remember you yeah. like... You looked relaxed and kind of melted on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you feel tired? I did actually. Yeah. I yeah. had to just lay down after I finished the session. Yeah. Went home, like mm -hmm. almost 
Once the hotel would just crashed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that unusual? It is, yeah, because usually I don't really nap during the day or yeah. sleep with them. Just always was out it, of work. Was it a so. good nap? Like Yeah, yeah. So sympathetic tone, remember all that? Mm-hmm. Release sympathetic tone, increase blood flow, right? Yeah. So we gave you a neck block back the day that we did the screening. Yes. Remember we injected anesthetic in your neck to mm -hmm. stave off some of the cervical inputs, the neck stuff. And that changed your pain about half, right? Yeah. For the duration of the block. And your cold sensitivity went away too. Correct. Partly. Yes. Yeah. Because when you were swishing ice water, it was like, I don't remember exactly, I think it was a four out of 10. Uh, five. Four or five. Yeah. And then we injected the neck and you were about a two, two, three, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So what the hell does the neck have to do with the teeth, right? Well, that did that not make it clear to you that, hey, I've got neck issues too? Yeah. And you still have neck issues. What I've done does not affect your neck. Right. But it all kind of interplaces one another. So how, what percentage better are you now, would you say? Um, probably like a third to a half better already. Yeah, just in general, right? Yeah. All of it? Yeah. So you're going to go back to Florida, and you're going to start chasing down a chiropractor that works up for C-SMART. Mm-hmm. Right, and I'm hoping you're gonna get even further better. Yeah. Okay, so, and you're also leaving with the knowledge of, hey, my joints aren't that bad, I'm probably not a joint surgery case, hopefully ever, unless I get in some nasty accident and make it worse. Right. You know, you know. Things that's, that's also great to actually to know. know what's going on and how everything mm -hmm. works, because I had no idea about any of this. Yeah, well look, but nobody has no all the answers, including us, right. you know, but we look in this really, unusual twilight zone area, areas, plural, and based on the numbers, the objective numbers, that's when we make decisions. And along the way, we gave you about, I mean, hell, we looked at a dozen or more potential problems that weren't there, and we saw right. several dozen things. We put numbers to hundreds of things, right? Mm -hmm. Surface area this, you know, muscle activity that, what hits when, right? Yeah. The condition of the orthopedics, the soft tissue, the hard tissue. This all makes sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. What would you tell yourself, say, a month ago when you were watching the videos? If you were watching this video, what would you want to know? Tell other people what. Give them a heads up. It's just amazing to actually find someone who knows what they're looking at. You know, because I've seen doctors said, oh, you have allergies. Just by looking at my face, they said, you have allergies. Right. Stop eating gluten and dairy or something. Yeah, so, gluten free. Yeah, so <laughs> do it. It, that's amazing to actually learn how everything works and then yeah. start to look at one thing at a time yep. and it was good to feel like okay there's a lot of them that are not bad and then to someone who actually can see how the bite works and all that and fix it and have a record yes. and look objectively and get a number yeah and it's reproducible exactly. and for example when you when we did the mastication analysis which means we were looking at like the jaw tracking digital like how the jaws moving how the muscle was working we combined muscle activity EMG with jaw tracking Remember your mastication values? Mm -hmm. Remember the sequence of how the muscles fired? Yes. Remember how wonky it was before yep. we did the bite thing? Yep. And then just moments ago, we looked at it again today, a day yep. later. It's like and the it's way normal. it should be, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that completely changed. And then the silent period thing. Silent periods are when muscles are like real tentative about contacting because something's not quite right in the nervous system. And you were like, what, three out of 15 silent periods? Every 15 chews, you had three problems. And on their side, every four chews, you had problems chewing. Right. And then today, it was reduced by way, a whole lot. I think it was one and two out of 15, right? It was like one, I believe, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. that's a huge change. 15, yeah. yeah. And yeah. the way the muscles fired was like proper today. It wasn't yesterday before we did it, right? Correct, yes. I mean, all these things. Yeah. Yeah, so are you mm -hmm. glad you came? I am, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the knowledge and of course, just the yeah. fix that you did and how I feel now. and I. I'm hoping really over time, because this is a muscle issue and joints issue, now that yeah. things are working the way they should be, I think in a few weeks, yeah. everything should relax and feel even better. I hope it's so, but remember, you got to chase the neck. Yes. This is only part of your stuff, okay? Yeah. I know you've got neck inputs. Mm -hmm. So that chiropractor, in an ideal world, the chiropractor that looks at MRI and CT that works upper C-spine, doesn't crack a neck, he's using actuators, and he's using, like doing table drops. Those are the guys. Table drop, actuator. Okay. Crack the neck. Looks at and MRIs and yeah. 3D scans. Remember I was telling you about Piper and the Piper Clinic? They have an, a full-time chiropractor on staff. His name is Dr. Hobbs. Yep. Um, he's the one that told me how he handles Piper's 
pre- and post-surgical TMJ cases. He's a chiropractor who's been working with TMJ issues for like a decade. Well, plus. I'm glad he's in Florida, so that's the thing I'm going to chase down. Yeah, he's about two hours from me, right? Yeah. 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 All right, cool. That's it's not a big deal. I'll go see. Yeah. Go see Thank him. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. I appreciate all right. it.